Diabetes, a prevalent condition affecting millions worldwide, often presents subtle signs that demand attention. However, certain emergency signals can indicate a potentially life-threatening situation. Recognizing these can mean the difference between swift effective intervention and severe health consequences. Here are seven diabetes emergency signs that everyone, whether diagnosed with the condition or not, should be familiar with. Number one, fruity breath. Fruity breath in the context of diabetes is a distinct sweet or fruity odor that originates from the breath of an individual. This is not a normal or healthy sign. The phenomenon occurs due to the presence of high levels of ketones in the blood. When the body cannot access enough glucose for energy due to insufficient insulin, it starts burning fat for fuel. This fat metabolism produces ketones as byproducts. While small amounts of ketones can be expelled from the body through urine, when their production outpaces the body's ability to get rid of them, they accumulate in the blood. This accumulation leads to a condition known as ketosis. As the concentration of ketones rises further, the body tries to eliminate them via exhalation, which results in the noticeable fruity breath. For someone with diabetes, especially type 1 diabetes, the presence of a fruity breath is a red flag for diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA. DKA is a serious and potentially life-threatening condition characterized by an extreme rise in blood sugar levels accompanied by a significant buildup of ketones in the blood. If not treated promptly, DKA can lead to dehydration, brain swelling, coma, or even death. The underlying cause for the development of DKA can be varied. It might result from missed insulin doses, an illness or infection or other factors that cause an imbalance in one's metabolic system. In essence, the fruity odor on one's breath isn't merely a curious symptom, it's an emergency alert from the body signaling the onset or presence of a dangerous metabolic state. Recognizing and addressing it promptly can prevent the severe complications associated with DKA. As such, Anyone who detects a fruity or unusual odor in the breath of a person with diabetes should seek medical attention immediately. Number two, rapid breathing or shortness of breath. As we continue, please subscribe to this channel if you're finding this video helpful. Thank you. Rapid breathing or shortness of breath in a person with diabetes isn't just an incidental symptom. It's an ominous indicator of an underlying metabolic disturbance. Breathing is intricately linked to our body's need to balance pH levels and manage carbon dioxide, CO2. When the body starts to experience a significant buildup of acids, it naturally attempts to exhale more CO2 to compensate and restore the pH balance. In the context of diabetes, this abnormal respiratory pattern often signifies the onset of diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA. DKA occurs when the body, unable to use glucose for energy due to a lack of insulin, resorts to breaking down fats. This process results in the release of ketones, acidic compounds. As ketone levels rise, the blood becomes more acidic, triggering the respiratory system to expel CO2 more rapidly, manifesting as fast or labored breathing. This respiratory distress isn't merely about the lungs working harder. It reflects the body's desperate bid to counteract a dangerously acidic internal environment. As DKA progresses, it can lead to other severe complications, even coma or death if left untreated. Recognizing the link between accelerated breathing and potential DKA is crucial for anyone involved in the care of someone with diabetes as it necessitates immediate medical intervention. Number three, nausea and vomiting. Nausea and vomiting, while common symptoms of various ailments, take on a particular significance in the context of diabetes. In people with this condition, persistent nausea and vomiting can be harbingers of a severe metabolic crisis called diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA. 
When the body can't efficiently utilize glucose due to insufficient insulin, it turns to fat for energy. This fat breakdown generates ketones, acidic byproducts that in excess can make the blood overly acidic. As ketone levels rise, they can start to irritate the stomach lining, leading to feelings of nausea or even episodes of vomiting. But it's not just about an upset stomach. The nausea and vomiting are the body's attempts to rid itself of these excess acids. If left unchecked, the continued rise in ketone levels can dangerously tip the body's internal balance, making the blood too acidic. This metabolic derangement can adversely affect multiple organs and bodily functions. In diabetics, this means that nausea and vomiting aren't just symptoms to be alleviated. They are alarm bells ringing. They indicate a deep-seated issue with the body's metabolic control, one that requires immediate attention. Ignoring or downplaying these symptoms can allow DKA to progress, risking severe complications, including life-threatening scenarios. Number four, confusion or altered mental state. Confusion or an altered mental state in a person with diabetes is not merely a fleeting concern, but an urgent red flag that indicates potential metabolic instability. Our brain is a glucose-dependent organ, requiring a steady supply for optimal function. When blood sugar levels swing to extremes, either too high, hyperglycemia, or too low, hypoglycemia, it can directly impact brain function leading to symptoms like confusion, dizziness, or altered consciousness. In the context of diabetes, prolonged hyperglycemia can result in diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA. High levels of ketones and glucose can cause the brain to function abnormally, leading to cognitive changes. On the flip side, severe hypoglycemia can deprive the brain of its primary energy source leading to similar cognitive disturbances. These changes in mental state are not mere side effects. They're direct manifestations of the brain's response to metabolic chaos. An altered mental state, when seen in conjunction with diabetes, demands immediate attention. Addressing the root cause swiftly can prevent further complications and potential harm to the individual's overall health and well-being. Number five weakness or fatigue when someone with diabetes experiences a profound sense of weakness or fatigue it isn't merely the typical tiredness one might feel after a long day it's a deeper more concerning exhaustion that may signal an imbalance in the body's metabolic processes diabetes revolves around the body's ability to use glucose the primary energy currency for cells if glucose isn't effectively utilized, energy production can be compromised. In diabetes, when insulin isn't sufficiently present or isn't working effectively, glucose can't enter cells for energy production, leading to a state of energy deprivation. This situation is like having fuel around a car but not in its tank. The body, although surrounded by glucose in the blood, can't convert it to usable energy causing feelings of profound fatigue. Moreover, elevated blood sugar can also lead to increased urination, leading to dehydration, a common cause of fatigue. On the other end of the spectrum, if blood sugar levels plummet too low, hypoglycemia, the body is again deprived of its necessary energy, manifesting in weakness. In the world of diabetes care, this isn't just about feeling tired. It's a symptom pointing towards potentially dangerous glucose imbalances. Whether due to hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia, weakness or fatigue is a pressing signal, underscoring the need for immediate assessment and action. Number six, abdominal pain. In the landscape of diabetes symptoms, abdominal pain isn't just an isolated discomfort. It's a significant alert of potential metabolic turmoil. While abdominal pain can arise from various sources, in the diabetic context, it often suggests a severe condition caused by diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA. DKA arises when there's a scarcity of insulin in the body, 
leading to an inability to use glucose for energy. Consequently, the body begins to metabolize fats as an alternate energy source, resulting in the production of ketones. These acidic compounds, when accumulated in the bloodstream, can cause the blood's pH to drop, leading to a state of acidosis. The buildup of these ketones can irritate the lining of the stomach, causing discomfort and pain. This isn't a mere stomach ache. It's an indicator of the body's internal environment becoming dangerously acidic. For someone with diabetes, abdominal pain, especially when accompanied by other symptoms like nausea, vomiting, or fruity breath, is an alarm bell. It hints at the possible onset or progression of DKA, a condition that if not treated promptly, can have grave consequences. Number 7. Blurry Vision Blurry vision in someone with diabetes is not just a simple eye problem. It's a manifestation of deeper metabolic disruptions at play. The eye, particularly the retina and lens, relies on a delicate balance of fluid and nutrients to function correctly. In the context of diabetes, elevated blood sugar levels can lead to shifts in this equilibrium. When blood glucose levels soar, it causes the lens in the eye to swell due to osmotic imbalances, altering its shape and ability to focus, leading to blurriness. This isn't merely a temporary inconvenience. It's the eye's response to systemic hyperglycemia. Conversely, if someone with diabetes suddenly improves their blood sugar control, the eye might again undergo changes, leading to temporary vision disturbances. Beyond the immediate impact on the lens, prolonged high blood sugar levels can also damage the blood vessels in the retina, a condition known as diabetic retinopathy. Over time, this can lead to significant vision impairments or even blindness. In essence, blurry vision is a visual alarm set off by the body, indicating potential blood sugar irregularities. For those with diabetes or those around them, it's a symptom that requires attention, not only for visual clarity but as a gateway to understanding and managing underlying blood glucose levels more effectively. Recognizing the emergency signs of diabetes is not just about knowledge, it's about empowerment. These symptoms act as the body's distress signals, highlighting when something is critically amiss. This knowledge equips individuals, caregivers, and loved ones with the tools to act swiftly, ensuring that diabetes remains a manageable condition rather than a looming emergency. You might also want to watch this video for other critical diabetes signs you should know. And please subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.